Hey, I'm Nick Long Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 24. It's episode number four. Last time we discovered just how cruel the finances are going to be, and that's going to be a major talking point. It's not something we can really avoid for a while yet, but of course we already know that from now <laughs> until we get into uh, December and get a board payout. Outside of winnings, there's there's next to nothing we can do. With a negative balance, we can't debt spend. We cannot go grab some sort of loan and put ourselves further in debt. We have to have a positive balance. We have to have enough money in the bank to spend. Otherwise, we just keep. Period report for the players as they have finished the first period of the season, the hard season, part one anyway. Uh, Nagunye, as a junior, dropped from number two in the rankings to number four. She does claim some points. She played three tournaments. She only won four matches out of the seven. She had a really, really poor time in the juniors, as she clearly did not want to be there. So meanwhile, in the seniors, it still didn't go well there either. She lost her ranking by quite a bit. She's down by 69 positions in the rankings. She won just six points and just 10,000. So her total winnings was, what, 15? One win in seven tournaments. Out in the first round six times. Montgomery drops in the rankings. Much smaller, by a much smaller amount, minus nine. She won 70 points in the period and won 83,000. Montgomery was a huge part of us not falling off the deep end. Five tournaments, seven wins. She's not getting very deep. Havda. She dropped 18 spots in the rankings, won just 8 points, won just 6,000. Two wins, only played five tournaments. I need to now manage all. I need to manage everybody's tournament schedules going forward. Martina King jumps junior rankings from 559 to 427, won 108 points at the junior level, but it's only 4K. Six tournaments, 14 wins from 18. Tremendous win rate, but again, bottom-level junior stuff that just doesn't pay out very much. Havda made more than that in just three tournaments. Hence the, I need to take control, I need to get her more involved. Five, six, seven tournaments, get her in the right ones. Montgomery, the only one who did well, and Montgomery still somehow managed to drop in the rankings. You can see that Nagunye right now is suffering. She is horrible as she has bad form. We tried to go the junior route. It didn't work. I think we need to go the senior route with her. Never mind the junior route besides those grand slams. When scheduling tournaments, the easiest thing to do is to limit your higher and lower end tournaments. So junior 500 is my low end, my high end is not even doing anything with the high end. She's not succeeding, so we're going to really narrow that down to 25. Uh, we don't need any qualifications. That gives us a much smaller, 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 much, much smaller window. Looks like coming up, uh, we've got a busy, busy schedule with 15, 25 tournaments. Uh, one break, we've got another 25. One week break, 15. One week break. A girl's 500 so I, I've already made the adjustment for Nagunye. Now for Montgomery she's had some success she's made some money but what can she do we've got to kind of get a lay of the land what has she done so far this season on 125 Grand Slam a few weeks later a 500 and then a pro 70 and a much too long break are you kidding me a 125 she has an 80 scheduled before it gets into that point where we can turn off the automatic registrations and go from there. Uh, that's a pretty lengthy break. I'm going to go ahead and register another. Like for her, we definitely don't need those lower 125s and 50s. I think with somebody like Montgomery, I, I want to squeeze in a lot of tournaments. So we'll take kind of two out of every three weeks uh, to keep her busy and put her into what we can kind of get into. Financial warning has come up. Situation is critical. At the board's request, I have produced a projection of expenditure and income for the coming year. 
and it's catastrophic to say the least. We're going to have to think about letting go of those with the biggest salaries while continuing to reap successful results. You'll also have to stop believing everything you're told when it's the 1st of April. No hard feelings. Nagunye, 50 level rookie out in the first round. King speed up to a 13 while focus has climbed and balance is, eh, it's getting there. This is all slowed. It's all slowed dramatically, but we're still making progress. Biggest tournament yet for Martina King Junior Girls 100. So third tier now of the junior tournaments. It's a five round tournament. Prize money is 3K, meaning we could get about 2K if she were to win this tournament. That's a payout. <laughs> that's definitely a payout. We're, we're at 182,000 in the red right now. That's something. First round looks like a manageable opponent. Second round looking like whoever it's gonna be is gonna be much more challenging. And that first round opponent was beatable and has been beaten. 6-1, 6-4. Got a few aces, 38 total winners, uh, balanced with forehand and backhand. Total unforced errors was 10. She hit more winners. That was that was the real difference in this one. Nagunye losing again in the first round. <coughs> Upset by the unseated Kakawa, uh, who we will go up against here in the second round. Something a little bit easier. Uh, the quarterfinal will get even tougher. Uh, maybe we'll play out the quarterfinal if we happen to get there. And we do get there. 6-2, six, 6-4. Six, Straight sets for both of those first two rounds. Surprising as it may be. Uh, I like that you're seeing more double faults down here in the juniors. Uh, less aces makes sense. We didn't actually hit as many winners. We just committed less errors. Yeah, the total unforced errors was 30 for Kakawa. We let her beat herself. We couldn't beat her, but she couldn't keep the ball in play. We made it hard for her to get to it, hard enough that she could make a play on the ball, but not a clean play. Quarterfinal against oh, Rivoli. Rivoli is a couple hundred spots ahead of us in the rankings, uh, but not heavily favored. In fact, it's considered a balanced match. We've got a shot. We've got a shot in this one. Not with serves like that, though. <laughs> Right on the line. <coughs> <coughs> Serve set that one up well. Really, really pulled her out of position. So we get the first game here. It's only a quarter final. This is definitely not a finals match. Let's uh, see what happens with these first handful of games. After breaking her in the sixth game it had been level at 2-2 we win game five to go 3-2 with service we break her in game six tonight make that 4-2 and then we just finished off our third straight game one to now go 5-2 to two and be a game away from uh, taking the first set so let's let's speed it up through this next game uh, but only gradually speed it up 15 all so far we must have hit long because it looked like it was pretty good. Whoa, hello. It was 30-15, and all of a sudden we are up. 30-40, and a double fault. Double fault wins the game. Uh, the set, actually. Game and set. So, looking good so far. Four straight games won in that. Attacking the net well for that first point. Things playing pretty decently. On the verge of the first game here of the second set. Which is definitely the momentum that you want to carry over from the first set. That goes long, and that is the first set. Speeding it up once again. Uh, determined, focused, high stamina. Opponents already a, a bit fatigued and anxious, and it's shown. We've won the first three games. We nearly break her to make it four straight, but she breaks us for the first time, and we turn right around and break her back. So it's five games to two. And with advantage, it's match point. Another chance to break and seal this out. Nice, there it is. That's a winner, and that's a good winner. 6-2, 6-2 into the semifinals.
Iyengar, who got through, is virtually the same rank we are. We're going to take our chances uh, with uh, this semifinal that we can beat her head-to-head -head and see ourselves into a final. We've actually gone head-to-head -head once before, Iyengar. Take, took three sets, but we do get through. Six, love, four, six, six, two. Only one double fault today. Uh, 52 41 on the winners. Unforced errors. A f definitely a few at 18, but fewer than our opponent. The unseeded Papa has made it to the final. 214, definitely the favorite over us, uh, but without playing a single ranked opponent. Uh, we have squeezed our way into the final with a chance to make it three tournaments in a row. Form is definitely our friend right now. First third tier junior tournament. First third tier junior final. Second set. And in the head to head scouting report, we are the favorite, even though they are the higher ranked player. And all we have done for Martina King so far is develop her physical attributes a bit. But that coupled with the tactical style that utilizes those physical bits Out. has seen 15. us be the favorite until you go and hit a ball like Four. that but we don't make those mistakes that often and so that physicality piece is Let's enough do. to get us past a lot Four. of these lower Second ranked seconds. juniors and why that well that might see us climb that ladder a little bit makes a little more money which is absolutely fantastic it's not something that's going to carry us very far right at some point we have to develop those other attributes and without staff, without facilities, it's going to be really hard. Uh, you know, at this rate, we could see Martina with like all 20s in the physical side and everything else just inching its way along. But with winning the first game with serve here on the return, on the receive end, uh, we've come awfully close already to winning this. We've... Uh, Blown it. There it is. There's a winner. And first two games belong to Martina King. Uh, she is thrilled, but the relaxation is reassured. Reassured. The emotion is thrilled. Uh, she is lacking in the other two. So she is anxious. She is concerned. So we still want to get her past those. But uh, fortunately, outside of being enthusiastic, three out of four. Uh, mental breakdowns for our opponent are on the weak side. It was three out of four. Pre-game talk took care of one of those oh, just wide. Uh, but the opponent is rather fatigued, and it's going to hurt her accuracy. And when accuracy is already poor and you're making it worse, you're going to see a lot more mistakes, and that could be the uh, difference for us. Three games too low. Three games love. And at 15.40, we break her again, and it's four games love now back with service. A chance to all but assure victory in the set if we could win this one. But we were trailing 15-40. We've battled back. We now have advantage. Advantage again a second time. That serve right on the line. And it sets that winner up. And it's five games love. This set has to be a winner. Just a few points later, it is set point. Double fault to sweep. Sweep that first set, six, six love. Six. Can we carry that sort of momentum into the second set? First game was actually close. She nearly broke us, but we turn around and break her quite easily and then win that third game. And it does look like we are headed for the title at four games love. Ten games played, ten games won, now eleven games played. And it's match six, point. And we get quite a few opportunities at this Eight, until we two, slam two. that one into the net. 15-40. That's going to go long. 30-40. Staying alive. See, there, there's that Jeez. physicality difference where we're able to reach a difficult ball. But it set her up for an easy winner. But now we've set her up for that. She's gotten there and she gets it in. Wow. Advantage. To avoid the donuts. Jeez. Like we took something off of that shot. Ooh, Four, seven, that's seven. just on the line. That was just on the line. Advantage for uh, Popeye, and she gets the game. 
No skunk, no donuts today. Playing well. She Should plays that up? one well. Not sure if that's a forced error or not. That one's in between what you would consider forced and unforced. 15, but at 30-15, just a couple points away. Out. 14, Out. 15. Match point. Fault. Second set. Fault. 14, oh. That, uh, Second set. that and the first serve just after it. And that one. All three of those were so, so close. So tight. And all of them just, just out. And maybe a hint of in. Possibly one of the, out of those three calls. I wouldn't have been surprised. But that's a winner. Six love, six one. Remember, we get 59% of the 3000 that she got amounting to $1,769. It's not a big payday, and that's the thing. She's got to climb more and more, but if she's winning these Tier 3s comfortably, before long we can get her into those Tier 4s. Ranking jumps to 229 as there's more points involved, and there's a lot of players that simply just don't score points or score very, very few, so winning that Tier 3 will see us climb the Junior ranks to 229 now, and meanwhile, the rank continues to drop for everybody else. We have fixed their form and their morale, or physical physical condition and morale, uh, where the form remains an issue for all three of them. And that's where we're trying to build some momentum, even having them play down in lower tournaments, is a challenge for them right now. Momentum, form, is huge in this game. Montgomery again out in the first round, third straight tournament. This one, oh no, that was her first exit quickly but you can see we get paid almost the exact same thing much bigger tournament much bigger prize pool but out in the first round and a smaller prize share equals roughly the same money that's an 80 level by the way well with the rank climbing rapidly uh, martina king is a two seed for a 30 level tournament this was scheduled a while ago when we didn't expect that doesn't mean we're necessarily going to win, but even for a final, I'm not going to watch it if she makes it. It's 30 level. We're beyond this now. First round's a win, though it took a tie break on the second set. Hovda out in her first round. Took three rounds, but 6-2, 2-6, six, 7-6 six, six, with a tiebreaker to squeak out, just barely getting the edge on points one. The payout for Hovda, that was also 80 level. 49% for her is better than what we got for Montgomery at 2,400, same level, better prize share. Gandova, 428, our third round opponent for King. This time she wins in straight sets, much more comfortable than the last two rounds have been. Plus five on winners, far fewer errors. The semifinal, the final matchup would be Vidalia, uh, where we have a long Portuguese Brazilian name here uh, that we can't see. Bernandez. Bernardes. Told you it was hard to read on that page. It's still hard to read here as it cuts off. But we're out in the semifinals. 1-6-4-6. Six, six. That's still going to uh, produce at least a little bit of payment and should keep her form high. Hovda this past week was an 80 level first round exit. Again, 2400 for that. Uh, Nagunye finally made it to the second round of a 25 level, so second tier senior level tournament. Uh, that paid out 1200 And King, training for the week, gains a plus one to her natural fitness. But again, the, that rate of increase has, has, without a doubt, slowed. You can see that over the last while. This is all we've gained after that initial just rapid, rapid development. Suddenly it's more moderate. But you can see we've got, form-wise, things are good. She's got plus twos across the board. Plus two, like everywhere. Her form is amazing right now. And that's why she's playing so well, because her serve power is a seven instead of a five, because her counter is an eight instead of a six, because her physically, she's 15 on speed, 15 on stamina, 12 on focus, all of it getting big, big gains. We want to maintain that definitely as long as we can. But meanwhile, Havda, terrible form, minus twos to most. Uh, Montgomery has minus twos to nearly everything. And Nagunye also minus twos to most everything. 
No wonder they are struggling. King heads into a 60 level junior tournament as the three seed for this one. Uh, we'll see how she performs after losing losing her first match in a little while, but the form is still very good. And it's enough to carry her through the uh, first round. Tournament winnings were 11,000 this month, but with it all being low level stuff and no one besides King getting through more than one round, it's hard to collect the winnings we need. So negative balance continues to be a, a real issue. 171K, it's about to drop by another 50K tomorrow. We're going to be over 200K in debt. 60 level, straight to the final. She has made it there. Straight sets for everything. But the opponent today, well, it's somebody we've... Oh, that was an ace. Sure, I was right on the line. Just as that was right on the line. <laughs> And they were both right on about the same spot of the line. That one was a fraction more out than, out. than on, though it's still on. Right, that was definitely in. But our serve was definitely in, just like the one we just hit now. 40-15, anyway, we're looking fine. Um, our opponent today is the same one we played in our second game. victory, our back-to-back. -back. We had a 30 level and then a 60 level victory. Back to back, and then we had the hundred level. Love well, this was the sixty level final opponent, so we beat them in the final to claim that one and get that second victory. They are exhausted by making this final here. They are thrilled and confident, while indecisive and troubled. We are anxious, concerned, and troubled. We're just thrilled. So we actually have three things wrong. They have two things wrong, but we have a huge advantage. On the fatigue Four, side. We can absolutely, especially if we can get some shots seven. in, we can absolutely play to our strengths and, and win this match against an exhausted opponent. But we're going to have to fix a couple of the mental situations. How did she reach that ball? Juice. She was nowhere near it. She drives that one hard, but hits it too long. We have advantage. Juice. And we give it right back. Deuce. Four, second Trying to break her on this first game. With serve, it was easy. Without serve, we're having a hard time I, doing I it. Know. And we've given an advantage away. Very much unforced. There was nothing difficult about that shot. Pretty simple one to play. Thought that might have gone long, but it ended up in. And fairly comfortable. A few inches in. There Deuce. you go. Now's, now we have the advantage. Well... Four, on the seven. point, which she then hit into the uh, net. Advantage. Just level a deuce. Now we have the advantage in terms of score. Game. And there, two break point. Two. two games of love. Wasn't easy, but that actually just makes it easier. A long, a long rally like that is going to make the opponent weaker and weaker and weaker. Uh, but after she broke us... Got some issues there. Can we break her here? No, we don't, and it's three all. So after winning three straight, she came back and won three in a row herself. And we trail four games five. And it's set point. Uh, we need to motivate. First set. Yeah, losing that first set was disappointing. Look at that X. That's, that's an X. That was 100% right on the line, right down the middle of the line. And we lost that first game. Motivation's a little better at Concerned. Finally get our first game, and it's with break, so now we have serve. Got to respond here. It's weird we went from so close to just walking all over her for that first set to losing it and losing bad here. It's 1 4. If there's hope of coming back, this is must win. Mathematically, it's not over, but at 2 5, there's no way you're going to come back. But at 3 4, you've got a shot. Slow and lethargic should give us an advantage. Which is why I've turned up the aggression. 40-15 to get that fifth game. 
One of those, I don't know how she reached that ball in the first place. Five games to four. And then we have an easy tap Seven in to seconds. get the winner and hit it wide. Love but at five games four now, we've got a real shot to take this set. Find ourselves on the front foot of this final heading into what would be a decisive third set with every advantage. There you go. She's not reaching that one. Uh, focus is one of her... Yeah. Let's stay focused. Motivation up. There we go. One set all. Third set. Final set. Fold. Still Second troubled. <laughs> this is morale. She has confidence that we just do not have. We're confident now. Somehow still concerned, even though I've had two bonuses for motivation. Second service. Taking the first game of this third set will be big, and that starts us off right. There's a oh nope, but there's the winner. Three games, two. three games one, three games one. Four ones definitely not winner, but that's a take a deep breath. You've got this. Level. 40 love. Open with a good serve. Sets up the winner. 4 1. Battling back. Can we get that fifth game here? Deuce. Not at that moment. Deuce. Though so she placed that one well, put us on the back foot a little bit, then made the unforced error. And gives us the advantage. Oh, just. She's got us on the back foot a little bit, but I think we've played that well. No. Nope. Oh, wide. Four games, two. So we continue on. That was an important game for her to have any hope. From love 30, back to 30 all, and game point, 40-30. She bails us out, puts it in the net, back to deuce. Not must win. To, this is not a must win for us, but it is must win for her, really, to have a chance. Fifth game would all but seal it. And there's that fifth game. Good winner there. Good winner there. Good winner there. Not a good winner there. That's out. She got an ace for that. Here's the one you don't want to mess up, and it's 30 love. And there's another winner. It's 40 love. It's match point. Took something off of it there, 14, and that 15. opened it for her, and she hits back hard. 40-15. Second service. To the right. There you game go. Easy winner. 6-3 on the set. That's game, set, match. From behind. We're winning a lot of low-level stuff with Martina King right now, but it's clear why. She has excellent form, and it's clear why the others are losing. But how do you fix it? How do you build form? You drop to a lower tournament to play a weaker opponent, but the form is so bad that you still can't get the results. We might be a quarter billion in debt here in the middle of May, and that's just scary. <laughs> it's terrifying. Uh, but here's a quick review of King's progress so far, ranking-wise. Uh, you can see how she's gone from absolutely nowhere, bottom of the barrel, 559 in the rankings, to just a little bit, to she's taking off. She got those first results in that form is just seeing her climb, 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 climb. 182. Now 171 after that latest tournament. 277 points scored. 27 and 5 on the season with four junior titles. And she's making better money than like Havda is. Uh, than Nagunye is. You can see why. All right, here's that junior level 30. Lost, lost, lost first rounds. Semifinal. Final. And a win. And all three of our bigger tournaments have been wins. Four wins overall. Uh, and this has all been after, or most of it after, those initials, right? We had the one, what, semifinal loss? So we lost three 
three in a row, and then one final. And then we've just taken off since then. This does make her statistics a bit skewed, because she's won a lot. 84%. Uh, she's won 76% of sets. She's won 59% of games. But again, it's against low-level junior opposition while in form, getting her some pretty healthy bonuses. She has yet to play on grass, and there's that tournament breakdown, right? So it's all lower-level stuff. The worrying part about our financial situation is how it's spiraling. It's not just that we're losing thirty to 50000 a month, and that we can only offset so much through those tournament winnings, especially when three out of our four team members lack form, and it's the three who can actually earn us some money. But to make it worse, we're spiraling in terms of interest. The banking cost is increasing. The further in debt we are, the bigger the interest payment is. And it's starting to pick up. I mean, that's an extra 19000 already, meaning our 50000 debt is turning into a potential 70000 debt monthly. I, I'm not sure... Not sure we're gonna make it. Not sure we're gonna make it. It's already looking pretty damn iffy on the board payment on whether it would be enough to get us to break even. And by break even, I mean like negate the uh, the negative balance, right? Even if we get back to zero, you still can't turn around and invest anything. Even if you get to zero, the only thing that could happen if we get to zero, we'll leave this episode off with this. If we can get back to zero, our situation next year is not any better, bar one thing. Development. Only for King at this point. The other three, you would expect the same situation next year. Try to get form, try to get them performing better, try to help them rise the ranks, and make more prize money for us. That's a definite possibility. There's plenty more money out of those three than what they're bringing in. But... More importantly, the development of Martina King could carry her to higher level stuff and she could be a moneymaker for us. Still in the juniors, but bigger junior tournaments and performing equally as well as she is now. If we can keep that form and keep her performing in the juniors, she could carry the team a little bit more. And so where we would have a zero balance at the end of the year, if, if the board bonus is big enough, right now it's looking like it would be massive i mean we're, we're trying to offset a lot we're really trying to offset a lot you know it's up to 113,000 a month say they give us you know enough to get right back to exactly zero dollars and we can't invest anything the big thing is next year we could make better income than we made this year because king is going to be a better athlete and the others can't have form any worse than what they have now. So at some point, they're going to start to perform and earn a little money. At some point, King is going to earn better money than she's earning. And so if we can get a zero balance, but I just don't see that happening right now. I see us being pretty damn negative. Uh, it's looking scary. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm the Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.